in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to make and animate crosshairs in Unity 5. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is come into Photoshop and create a new file with a width and height of 128 and 300 pixels per inch resolution. Hit OK. Make a new layer, then double click the background and delete it. I'm going to use the line tool. Uh, with a weight of 15 pixels, no stroke, and a white fill. And I'm just going to drag a line out that's about uh, 100 pixels tall. Then I'm going to add a drop shadow. Set the distance to 0, the spread to 40, and the size to 8. Now save this out. I'm going to save it into the project folder I'm going to be using for this tutorial. I'm going to call it uh, reticle and save it as a PNG. Okay, so then in Unity, I'm going to set it to a sprite, change the max size to 128 and the format to true color. And now I'm going to go ahead and set up my canvas. Make sure pixel perfect is checked and I'm going to make it scale with the screen size and set it to height. Now right click on it and add a panel. Center it by Alt and Shift clicking the uh, center here. Set the width to 100 and the height to 100 and delete the image because we're not going to need that. I'm going to name this crosshair it's going to be the parent for all the reticles that we're going to be animating. So right click on it and add an image. Drag in the reticle and set the width and height to 20. That might actually be too small. Uh, I'll set the width and height to 25. Uh, and the Y position to 20. Then I'm going to name it top. I'm going to duplicate it name this one bottom and set it to negative 20 in the Y position. Duplicate this, rotate the Z to negative 90, set the Y to 0 and the X to 20 and name it right. Then duplicate this, name it left and set the X to negative 20. So now we've already got our crosshair next thing we're going to do is animate it. So in the animation tab make sure you select the parent because we want the animator to apply to all its children because we're going to be animating them all. Hit create and I'm going to name it uh, just reticle shoot. Now make sure it's recording and with the first frame selected select the top crosshair and type in 20 make sure that this turns red. Now select bottom, negative 20. I'm doing this because uh, it's just easier. If we do it this way, we'd have to add property, write, uh, transform, and then I don't, where would, whatever, I'm just doing it this way. 20, and then negative 20. Okay, so then I'm going to drag it five frames out. And now that they're all set, we can just change it here. Uh, so I'm going to say negative 14, negative 14, 14, and 14. And then I'm going to drag out to 10 frames and just change these values back to negative 20, 20, 20. Okay, so there's the animation. You can obviously change it however you want, but that's good for now. In the animator, select the parent and create an empty state. This is just going to be the idle. It's not going to have an animation in it or anything. Make sure you set it to default. And then drag a transition to reticle shoot. And I actually need to add a parameter. I'm going to add a trigger named uh, shoot. And then click on the connection here. Check off has exit time and add a condition. Uh, it'll automatically set it to shoot. 
then make a transition back and make sure has exit time is checked. Uncheck this, change this to 0.1. Uh, and then actually check this and we're going to make sure, okay, that's all set up right. Okay. So now we need to set up the script part of this. So with crosshair selected, add component, and I'm just going to call it uh, crosshair control. Double click it to open it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and declare that there's an animator named Anim set it to get component animator in the start function and then an update we're going to say if input.get button down in quotes fire one because that's the uh, default input for clicking your mouse um, and then we're going to say anim.set trigger and we named it shoot set trigger shoot and then I'm going to test this out. Oh, look at that. Okay. It's kind of funky though. And that is because this is set to loop. So make sure the animation is not looping. And that's it.